This video was produced by the Clinical Skills Lab, University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover, in collaboration with the University of Bristol. The video describes one correct way of performing the technique. In some cases, there are several acceptable ways to perform the skill. Veterinary students should check with their university whether they have a preferred method. In this video, bandaging the thorax and abdomen is demonstrated. This exercise is performed on a model and this dog has a fake wound on the lateral chest wall. The equipment needed includes bandage scissors, wound dressings, bandages, gauze and two plaster tapes. Have all the materials ready in advance and open the packaging. In practice, the bandage is applied whilst the animal is restrained by an assistant. The animal should be standing. Place an appropriate wound care dressing on the wound. Then wrap bandage around the thorax overlapping by one third. Some of the following video clips are fast forwarded. Use new rolls of bandage when needed. Now pass the bandage between the front legs and over the pectoralis along the shoulder. Repeat this pattern at least twice on either side. By bandaging in this way on either side, you create a kind of harness. If necessary, the harness can be padded with cotton wool. The bandage should now consist of two or three overlapping layers. Fix the end of the bandage with plaster tape. Check the bandage by running your index finger between the bandage and the animal. It should be easy to advance the finger under the bandage. Now apply the outer layer of the bandage. This is wrapped around the chest and abdomen as before, including the harness. When using cohesive bandages, it is important to stretch out the bandage before applying it, to avoid too tight a bandage. Fix the end of the elastic bandage with adhesive tape. The bandage must now be checked to ensure it is not too tight. In the mail, make sure that the bandage will not interfere with urination.